So in this video, I'm gonna teach you exactly how you can create printables to sell in Canva that look like this and how to create them, mock them, and sell them. I'm gonna show you all that coming up next. So before we get started, I want to give you a quick spoiler. I am giving something very special away to those who watch to the end of this video. So yeah, make sure you watch to the end of this video. So welcome back to the video, my friends. If you are new here, my name is Jay. And on this channel, I do everything from how-to videos and step-by-step -step guides, teach you exactly how to create and sell your own digital products online. And so if you are interested in content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. And at any time you are getting value in today's video, please make sure you give me a like as that helps this channel out a lot. Now let's jump into the video. So when you are selling digital products on Etsy, one of the great places to spend some time is to create digital wall art for kids. And so as you can see, I'm on Etsy right now and there are a ton of different digital canvases you can create for little kids, for parents to buy and put in their room. And so just to show you a little bit about this, that there is a lot of money to be made just to create a canvas like this that people can purchase from you. So creating digital wall art is very easy to make in Canva and it sells very well if you are able to market the right way and list it with the right keywords. But for our video today, I'm just showing you exactly how a simple wall art like this can actually become a bestseller as this seller is selling this for $6.50. It has that bestsellers badge and that bestseller badge let us know that this has been sold multiple times. And again, they mocked it up pretty well so you can see how it's gonna look once they purchase it from you. And we actually have this, this is a set of three where they can purchase these from you. But again, it's easy to make these in Canva and I'm gonna show you how to make these right now. So before we get started, I wanna share this with you that if you intend to print these designs out and actually ship them to your buyers, you can create one design and actually sell them for different prices based upon the size. So again, if you're thinking about creating this design and then shipping it out to your buyers, this is a great way to earn more money just with one design. So the print size that we're gonna work with today is a five by seven. The easy way to find that is by going to the design anything tab on Canva, find the print product section and find anything that's labeled with a five by seven inch template size. And so today we're gonna to go ahead and use this one. All right, so what I think is a good way for images to stand out is to have those images overlap a watercolor circle. And so we're gonna go ahead and use this blue and I think this is pretty cool to use. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can see a little bit better. And so this is kind of gonna be our backdrop before we put any image on there. So the next thing I wanna do is find a cool kid's image I can overlap on this watercolor circle to make that image pop and stand out a little bit more. So we have our hot air balloon on top of our watercolor circle. And as you can see, it is already looking pretty cool right now. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna put some words at the bottom of this image. I find that putting words at the bottom really brings meaning to the image that you just designed. So we are now done with our design. And as you can see, it didn't take that much time nor effort to create. And when we put it as a mock-up, it's really gonna make this design pop out. So before we move on and download this and mock this up, one of the things that I do that really make my production a whole lot faster is that I go ahead and just duplicate what I have. I take out that main image and guess what I do? I go ahead and recreate my own design in a different way. So for instance, if I wanna put some clouds right here, and maybe I wanna put a different type of balloon. As you can see, now that has really transformed our image. So as you can see, I now have a second listing I can create that can make me just as much money as the first one. And this is the secret of how you are able to make multiple designs in one session. You want to recreate your own design and duplicate them. And again, make it in a way that can be different, but yet still inspiring to those who are buying it from you. All right, so as you can see, we have multiple designs already made. Again, I am a strong believer in sitting down and creating or recreating that first design. This is how you are able to get multiple listings. Again, like now, I'm able to have five different listings or six different listings I can post up in my store right now that can sell. 
So what I learned that people would like a different variation from that design. You don't have to create something from scratch, but take what you design and then recreate your own design and figure out which one sells best. So now we're gonna to go to our mock-up phase. So when we download these images, we're gonna use two different formats. The first one that we're going to use is a PNG file. And that PNG file is gonna be helpful to us when we mock up our images in Canva. The second download file that we're gonna have is a PDF file. And this file is to give to the buyer, which is a high quality printable file they can use when they print this out. So we have all of our mockups that we're gonna to use today in Canva. Again, there are a lot of free images you can use in Canva for mockups, but I just decided to use these because this goes with our overall theme of kids wall decor images or printable images for kids. So one of the things I did when I downloaded my PNG files was to make sure that the background is transparent. And the reason why I did this was so that when I mock up my image, it could actually lay upon the canvas the right way. So as I am creating my mockups, one of the things I try to do is to make sure that whatever mockup image I am using fits with my design. So because I am creating a kid digital wall out printable, I wanna make sure that my mockup reflect my theme. And so you want your buyers to be able to see how this can look in their kid's room or for whatever space you are designing for. But as you can see, our mockups are really looking good right now. And these are mockups, again, you can use in Etsy. So again, we have our PNG file with that transparent background that we are able to make some really stellar mockups that we can use in our Etsy listings. And we have our PDF printable file that when someone purchases from us, they get the printable PDF file they can use at their own time. So we are now at the end of our mock-up design. And as you can see, what we have created really looks stellar when we put it in a good mock-up that reflects the design of our image. So again, if you're making things for kids, try to use a mock-up that is relatable to kids. If you're making a mock-up for a coffee shop, then use a relatable mock-up to make your design stand out. And again, when the mock-up matches your design, it really makes it easy for the buyer to see how this can be placed in their specific room. So as promised, if you are here at the end of the video, I want to give all of these designs to you right now that you can start selling these on Etsy. Simply check out my link down below where you can get access to all of my designs and more that you can start using right now on Etsy. So yeah, click that link down below and thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. So that is the end of today's video. If that was any way helpful, please make sure you give me a like as that helps out this channel a lot. And if you want to see my step-by-step -step process of how I create multiple designs just like this one, then consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, my friends, I will see you in the next video.